Happy Sunday, 9 News Weather Impact Team. Meteorologist Lauren Robinson here with your forecast. We're still monitoring that heavy sow off to the southwest where we have winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings in place through Sunday. Some expire around noon, some of these expire around 9 p.m. But all in all, we're looking for just a few more inches across northern portions of the San Juans. These areas have been downgraded to winter at winter weather advisories and northern portions of the San Grito Cristo is looking for up to six more inches. To the south is where we're going to see the heavier stuff. So southern portions of the San San Juans could see up to a foot more snow and similar area across southern portions of the Sangre de Cristos. So we're going to continue to watch for the heaviest snowfall to be there. And across the southern portions of the state, that's also where we're going to see the heaviest rainfall. So we go through the afternoon. You'll notice the urban corridor not only stays dry, but we actually get quite a bit of sunshine during the afternoon hours. So that's going to allow us to warm up into the lower 70s. We will see some of this rain become a little bit sporadic, but it will move northward into northern portions of the west western slope and high country, even pushing into far northern portions of the foothills just west of Fort Collins. Everywhere else across the front range staying pretty dry under this dry slot of air. And then we'll see the showers and storms lift their way northward across the eastern plains as we wait for this very slow churning system to move on out of Colorado. So since the heaviest rainfall will fall to the south, we do have a marginal risk for severe weather across the far southern plains. These areas are just looking for the heaviest rainfall, maybe some gusty winds, a couple of lightning strikes. Afternoon highs will start to warm back up. We're going to be in the upper 60s to low 70s across most of the front range in eastern plains with those 50s and low 60s in the high country. Same goes for the western slope. So I think we can make it to around 72 degrees in Denver with all of the in and out cloud cover and dry air we're going to see. Similar temperatures in surrounding areas and then of course a bit cooler as you make your way in higher elevation. Warmer temperatures are going to stick around through the rest of the week with lots of sunny skies ahead.